Welcome to the Walt Disney World Resort, where environmental conservation and sustainability have played a very important role for everyone who works and plays at Disney. At Disney, we envision a world where each of us must act with the knowledge that the future of our business, community, and planet depends on us conserving our natural resources. Walt himself said, Conservation isn't just the business of a few people. It's a matter that concerns all of us. It's what we at Disney call environmentality. Over the years, our company's focus on protecting and enhancing our environment has grown. We are continually exploring, testing, and implementing new ways to turn things we see and do every day into sustainable experiences. If you look very carefully, our cast members, iconic Disney structures, and um, our special friends, you'll find they all play an important role in environmentality. Our solar facilities generate enough energy to power two of Walt Disney World's four theme parks. Solar energy is also used at other theme parks around the world, including Disneyland Resort, Tokyo Disney Resort, and Hong Kong Disneyland. And though we love our sunny days, we have found ways to save energy and light up the sky even after the sun goes down. Energy conservation is a priority every day of the year with a focus on lighting and cooling efficiencies. We conserve energy during the holidays too by using LED lights for our outdoor displays and indoor decor. Even Cinderella's castle glows with LED lights during the holidays using 80% less energy. Enjoying wonderful food and beverages is one of the great experiences here at Walt Disney World. But do you ever wonder what happens to leftovers from our kitchens? Disney Harvest reduces food waste by gathering excess prepared food and distributing it through the Second Harvest Food Bank of Central Florida. Even though we get our fair share of rain here in Central Florida, it's still important to conserve water. Our approach begins with using less water in general and using as much reclaimed water as possible, especially to keep our gardens and landscapes looking beautiful year-round. Recycling is a priority, and our cast members focus on keeping recyclables out of landfills every day. We make it easy for our guests to join in too. And Disney has made a global commitment to protect oceans by reducing single-use plastics, such as plastic straws, plastic stirrers, and plastic shopping bags, resulting in a reduction of more than 175 million plastic straws and 13 million plastic stirrers annually. Disney hotel guests, both on land and at sea, now have larger in-room amenities. These larger, refillable bottles replace single-use plastic amenities, reducing plastic by 80%. Our environmental journey has grown over the years and will continue to do so, as our world protects, conserves, preserves, and sustains your world. The number of lions in the world have declined by half in the past 25 years, but we have the opportunity to bring them back. Simba. In honor of the release of The Lion King, Disney is teaming up with the Lion Recovery Fund to ensure the protection and preservation of these incredible animals, working towards a vision of doubling the lion population by 2050. Disney's been uh, invaluable in terms of, of providing a platform for us to bring together some of the key players in lion conservation and make sure we're working to a common plan and vision. Working with uh, the Lion Recovery Fund has enabled experts from around the world to discuss different views on lion conservation. The major challenge is getting people to appreciate that lions are very important to us. If you look at the issues on why we're losing lions, it's humankind in every way, you know, it's human encroachment, hunting, it's this, this constant utilisation. One of the issues with lion conservation is just that people need space and wildlife needs space too. We have to find a place for both. What we need to do as conservationists is help balance the needs of both lions and the needs of people we can make sure they have the space to coexist with these species in a far more holistic way. 
I have seen people do everything that they can to secure this future for lions. The Lion Recovery Fund is investing in the best ideas, organizations, and conservationists working across Africa to recover lions and restore their landscapes. If we take away the lions, then we create a disruption to the entire ecosystem. Healthy ecosystems are also absolutely critical for human well-being. So if we do protect the lions, we're essentially helping ourselves as well. There will be challenges, but we can get through them. The stakes are that we would lose lions within a generation. We only have 20,000 left, but we have a chance to turn that number around if we have more people caring about the future of the species. I'm hopeful because lions can recover. That they're going to do their part as long as we're standing alongside them with the support that they need. Our hopes with The Lion King is that the public will get excited about lions, that they'll learn about the challenges that are facing lions, and get involved in some way in conservation. Through The Lion King and through these initiatives, the world will care. That gives me hope. To find out more about how you can support the Lion Recovery Fund and these incredible organizations, log on to Disney.com slash Lion King Protect the Pride. They thrill us. Make us laugh. Oh. Oh. And make us cry. They make us think. She's beautiful. Inspire us. <coughs> and teach us. <coughs> Most importantly, they connect us to the world of nature. And right now, more than ever, they need us. Through our efforts here at the park at Disney's Animal Kingdom to share the stories and our efforts in the field to truly make a difference scientifically in the community and with the animals themselves, our end goal is that we truly make a difference for those animals in the wild. The Disney Conservation Fund is proud to celebrate and protect the wildlife we share our planet with. From our experiences and dedication to animal care, to our work to save wildlife and our support of conservation heroes. The Disney Conservation Fund is committed to ensuring a world where wildlife thrives and inspiring all of us to treasure and protect the magic of nature. We blend the love of nature and a respect for animals that Walt Disney always had himself with making dreams come true, getting people excited about nature and about being out in the wild. Every single one of us matters and has a role to play every single day we make a difference. Let's learn to live in peace and harmony between nations, cultures, religions, and between us and Mother Nature. At Disney, we're not just talking about helping the animals that share our planet, we're doing something about it. Join us by taking action in your own community to save wildlife, inspire action, and protect the planet.
my name is Fred. I'm a ranch and here at the Tri C Cody Ranch. I want to share with you a little bit of my day and how I take care of more than 90 horses here at Walt Disney World Resort. Every day we start here at 7 a.m. in the morning to take care of the happiest horses on earth. Now I'm gonna give Grady, a white person, his breakfast. He's so excited. Grady just finished his breakfast and it's time for me to clean his stuff. And to give him a new and fresh bed of shavings. His stall is all clean, so it's time for give him a good bath. Hot day like today, he loves getting a bar. I'm gonna finish washing him, but check with me later and I show you more about my day here at the Tricycle D Ranch. Welcome back. I am Fred, a ranch and here at the Tricycle D Ranch. One of the things I do every day is pick Grady's hooves. That way we make sure his feet are clean and healthy. Our horses get top-notch care and their equipment does too. It's time for me to clean Grady's harness for today. Hi, you recognize me? I'm backstage of Epcot. Grady and I are ready to do a special event. What do you think of my costume? I love that every day I get to spend time with these amazing animals. Thank you for joining me today. It's time to close the barn and get ready for a new day tomorrow. We don't say bye, we say see you real soon. This is the coolest place in the world. Go behind the scenes with an all-access pass to Disney's Animal Kingdom. We want people to be able to get as up close and personal as they can. The fun is just beginning. <laughs> Opening door nine. There he is. Hello. All the work that we're doing is making a difference. Just really a big team effort. I'm hoping that she might be pregnant. Yes! People have no idea how much goes on behind the scenes here. We don't have favorites, but if we did have favorites, Augustus is probably mine. <laughs> oh, I love him. I love him so much. I would like to think she thinks that we're best friends, but she's a giraffe. Anything else to say or can we keep going? <laughs> Welcome to a place. Our guests got to come and see an hours old gorilla. That's the kind of thing that's gonna make people wanna do something for these animals in the wild. We're wonder. He's humongous. Hey buddy, you look so good up there. Meets the wild. That was awesome. People are gonna have a one of a kind experience that they'll never get ever again in their lifetime. National Geographic's Magic of Disney's Animal Kingdom, narrated by me, Josh Gad, only on Disney Plus. While it's the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, we're celebrating some important anniversaries of our own. 
It's already one year since National Geographic joined our Disney family and the 25th anniversary of the amazing Disney Conservation Fund. As Vice President of the Animals, Science and Environment team, I have the amazing responsibility of overseeing animal care and environmental initiatives across our Disney parks, experiences and products. Our commitment to protecting our planet comes to life every day around the world as we continue to reduce waste, reduce emissions, conserve water and of course protect wildlife. I feel really fortunate to work with amazing cast members that care for our animals. They inspire and educate the thousands of guests that visit our parks. But what you might not know is that we also have fantastic teams doing field research and engaging communities to protect animals in the wild. Right here in Orlando, we've got an excellent team working to support healthy populations of bees, butterflies and birds with pollinator gardens across the Walt Disney World property from Disney's Animal Kingdom to Wilderness Lodge even at our new solar site. In addition to this work that our team does, we can all celebrate the impact that the Disney Conservation Fund has had over the past 25 years by proudly directing more than $100 million to conservation organizations working to save wildlife, inspire action, and protect the planet, helping to ensure a future for more than a thousand species of wildlife around the world. At the same time, we're also setting and achieving ambitious environmental goals, everything from plastic use reduction to waste management, cutting our greenhouse gas emissions and increasing our use of sustainable sources of energy. For example, we launched a solar farm at Walt Disney World. It generates enough energy to power two of our four theme parks here. And that's incredible testament to our commitment to becoming a more sustainable company. If you want to follow along with our adventures and learn more about the work being done by the Animal Science and Environment team, please join me on Instagram by following at Dr. Mark at Disney. In Disney Now, we're taking a closer look at a flying fox that's really a bat, a dragon that smells with his tongue, and a deer that barks. Join me, Mira, as I take a closer look at these fascinating animals. Watch Disney Animals Look Closer with Mira in Disney Now. I have never seen a better example of how creating pollinator habitat just creates life as well. So just a few weeks ago, this was just turf, and we just mowed it, added all of these wildflower seeds, and now as you walk through, you see bees and butterflies and all sorts of stuff. And so we are monitoring pollinator diversity. We're looking at bees and butterflies. We do it here where we create habitat. We do it other areas where it's just grass, and we then compare that to the Disney Wilderness Conservation Area so we can see when we put in this habitat, does it better reflect a more natural habitat? And the answer so far we're seeing is A, yes it does by far, and B, just by putting in this pollinator habitat, you would not believe the difference in wildlife that shows up. It is absolutely extraordinary. It's something that we're doing here on property, and the best part is it's something that you can do at home as well. Several years ago, I went out to go look at the coral reefs and I was wondering what was happening. It's a phenomenon throughout the Bahamas and the Caribbean that the corals are actually dying off. When corals die off, algae like to take over. Disney was very supportive of us trying to do a project right here at Castaway Key to help the corals. Urchins help graze algae back to allow the corals to thrive. 99% died off in the greater Caribbean. Ever since, corals have really been struggling to stay alive. We've located some areas where there's been some sea urchins uh, and healthy populations. We feel like we can take some of them and transplant them to the coral project area. We use a nursery to grow corals and once the corals grow we can just trim them off and then plant them onto the coral reef. Some species of snails like to eat corals and we're trying to figure out how those snails can live in harmony with the corals. The exciting thing about the nurseries is actually it's a big experiment and what we're trying to do is we're trying to develop techniques that other people can use elsewhere in the world. 
We have full support, the supplies that we need, and this coral project wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Disney. Protecting these coral reefs, help getting them to grow again. That's what I love to do, and it makes me feel like I'm a part of something bigger and better, and it's really helping to improve wild things and wild places, and that's what we're about. Disney is working to support fair trade coffee farmers through an innovative project in the Alto Mayo Forest in the Amazon region of northern Peru. Eight years ago, the forest was being rapidly cut down to provide more land for agriculture, putting over 3,400 species of birds and plants at risk of losing their home. Protecting the forest conserves wildlife, helps local communities, and combats climate change. Disney joined forces with Conservation International to prevent trees from being cut down in a protected area. Thanks to Disney's support, Conservation International was able to work closely with Peru's Protected Area Service to work with farmers in sustainable agriculture practices, protecting trees and improving the coffee harvest. Some of these farmers are part of the Alto Mayo Forest Cooperative. With Disney's support, the farmers have partnered with Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company to sell their organic and fair trade product and create a sustainably sourced specialty grade coffee. Disney is proud to support the Alto Mayo project and to be the first to feature Joffrey's Peru Alto Mayo coffee at select Walt Disney parks and resorts restaurants. It's been going great. We're receiving a lot of technical support, and when we harvest our coffee beans, we get a much better price. We can then export our own product. Through projects like this, Disney is able to support communities and protect the environment for future generations. While enjoying this special collection of coffee on your next visit to Walt Disney Parks and Resorts, you are helping to support families, a forest, and making the world a better place. Welcome to the Walt Disney World Resort, where we work very hard behind the scenes and sometimes right under your nose to protect our environment. We're proud to say that we work with a lot of very smart scientists, chemists, horticulturalists, engineers, researchers, and environmentalists here at Disney who are all helping make sure our world protects everyone's planet. Our long-term goals are to attain net zero greenhouse gas emissions and zero waste while conserving water resources and reversing the decline of wildlife around the globe. And along with conserving energy and fuel, a key part of our success in eliminating greenhouse gas emissions is due to our focus on renewable energy sources. More simply put, we like to call it powering the magic. In 2016, Walt Disney World Resort and Reedy Creek Improvement District partnered with Duke Energy to develop the solar facility located near Epcot. The facility is operated by Duke Energy to help meet the power needs of the Walt Disney World Resort and its other customers. This not-so-hidden Mickey led to an expansion of solar energy in 2019. Built in collaboration with solar developer Origis Energy USA and Reedy Creek Improvement District, this facility generates enough energy to power two of the four Walt Disney World theme parks. The solar facility is also providing an important habitat for native wildlife, and two-thirds of the facility has plants and flowers that are pollinator-friendly with the goal of creating a nurturing and welcoming habitat for endangered and at-risk animals, butterflies, bees, and other insects. So the next time you're visiting the Walt Disney World Resort, look up, look down, look all around, 
and experience the amazing ways we're powering the magic. In these times, wherever African elephants are found, there are also plenty of people nearby, and it can be very difficult for the two species to live in harmony. One source of great conflict is crop raiding by elephants. I was uh, nearly to give up growing here because of elephants. Elephant comes and destroy everything. Enter the African honeybee. Yes, the Save the Elephants Conservation Group and Disney are using tiny honeybees to help both people and elephants in Kenya. Here in our project in Sagala, we have a deterrent system for stopping human-elephant conflict. We've discovered that elephants are scared of bees. Scientists from Save the Elephants and from Disney conducted bee playback experiments. Our instincts turned out to be right. Elephants not only run away from bees and shake their heads to knock the bees away, but they also produce a special rumble that warns other elephants. Here we have a demonstration beehive fence. If an elephant was to approach this farm, he's going to hit the wire and the bees come out and really disturb the elephant, either stinging him or chasing him away. The elephant came to my farm but they didn't get in my farm because of this beer fence. This is our elephant-friendly honey. It's jarred very simply, and it's a symbol of all the work that's gone into the project. And it's now being jarred in our Elephants and Bees Research Centre, ready for sale around the country, back in Nairobi, and in many homes and houses around Kenya. We have this interesting partnership with Disney. They have been instrumental in joining our team. They've come on board and they've brought not only funding through the Disney Worldwide Conservation Fund, but also expertise. And it's the expertise which we're so grateful for with Dr. Joseph Soltis and his colleagues. And the support and the momentum that it's given us means that the project is expanding rapidly. So we hope this relationship will be going for many years to come.